Hello, welcome, Esmeralda. Hello, Anna. How are you today? Fine, thank you, Jim. How was your day today? What did you do today? ¿Cómo estuvo su día que hizo hoy? Heavy, heavy. Heavy, why? Why? What happened? Much working. Much oh, work. A lot of work, a lot of money? Yes. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I'm happy to hear that. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go ahead and move forward, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Who can tell me what information do you remember about yesterday's class? What information do you remember from yesterday's class? What can you tell me? What uh, vocabulary what do you remember? Uh-huh. What food do you like? Uh, the food? The vocabulary do you put? And... Okay. All right, so you were talking about your favorite kind of food, and uh, you were also talking about the food of your, your family members and relatives, right, and their favorite food. So in today's class, I would like for us to go ahead and move forward. And we're going to be taking a look at the next section, which was the countable and non-countable nouns. Contables y no contables. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Contables se puede contar. For example, sillas, chairs. Car. 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 Motorcycles. Motorcycles. Trains. Trains, airplanes, bicycles, bicycles, okay, uh, laptops, watches, computer, Pencil. computers. Tables. Cell phone. Tables, cell phones. Taxi. Taxis. Okay. So all of these are countable, contable. Now we are going to look at non countables. For example, electricity. Water. Water. Air. Water. Air. Correct. What else? Information. What else? Fuego. Fire. Space. <laughs> Fire. Space. What else? Light. Light. Sand. What else? Shadow. I'm sorry? Oh, the dark or shadow? Shadow, shadows. Yes, you can. can. Yes, you can count shadows. Uh, let's dark? say uh, darkness is an adjective. Let's it's say, dark. for example, uh, oil. Gold. Salt. Sugar. 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 Money. Soup. Food. Okay. All right. So these are examples of non-countable nouns. Non-countable nouns. ¿Qué define si es contable o no contable? Si es demasiado grande, es no contable. Si es demasiado pequeño, is no contable. Repeat, please. Electricity. Electricity. Water. 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 Air. 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 Information. 
information. Information. Space. 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 Fire. 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 Light. Fire. Light. Sand. 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 Oil. 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 Gold. Gold. Salt. 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 Sugar. 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 Money. 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 Food. 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 Okay. Eh, at, this at this moment, eh, Lorena, la vamos a poner en silencio por si escucha fuerte la televisión. Gracias. Okay, we're going to listen to the audio. Please take notes. Por favor, tome apuntes. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Every so, ayer practicamos esta conversación. Ahora vamos a ver la área gramatical. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically, anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Eh, Non-count nouns. Eh, right here, guys. Podemos decir también, digamos que si quieres ofrecer algo, eh, le puedes decir a alguien, eh, quieres un poco de agua, puedes decirle, do you want some water? Do you want some water? Do you need, do you need any money? So, and puedes usar los dos. Do you want some water or do you need any, wa any money or do you want any water? Las dos son correctas. No está en el video, pero se pueden usar. That's right, teacher. I got it. Yeah. Bread. <inaudible> Lemonade. Specific. Yeah. I'm eating an egg. Yeah. Let's get some bread. I can hear you. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important... Okay, quiero enfatizar acá. Specific. Y general. ¿A qué se refiere? Specific lleva an o some. General no lleva ni uno ni el otro. Si yo te digo, I'm eating an egg, me estoy comiendo un huevo. It's specific. 
eh, let's get some bread. Vamos a agarrar un poco de pan. But in general, you say eggs are good for you. Los huevos son buenos para ti. It's general. Bread is good for you. El pan es bueno para ti. So, aquí es general. Acá es algo específico. Teacher, siempre Hi. cuando vamos, siempre cuando vamos a referirnos a algo específico, entonces va a ir en o son. Correct. Y cuando es algo general, puede ir are o is. That is correct. Por ejemplo, si eh, tú dices. Ajá, uh -huh. sí. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, tú dices, um, tú dices, estoy tomando agua. I am drinking a glass of water. Me estoy tomando un vaso de agua específico. Y si yo te digo tomar agua, es bueno. Drinking water is good. Ahí ya es general. Catherine levantó su mano. Sí, teacher. Eh, una consulta. Si yo quiero decir, yo quiero un poco de leche, sería I want some milk. Uh, no, I want some milk. I, I some want milk. some milk. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Hello, Let's... teacher. Hi. How are you? Very <laughs> good. Very good. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Let's continue, guys. Listen, please. And is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? So, vemos que se pueden usar las dos. Podemos decir, do we need any eggs? It's okay. O podemos decir, do we need some eggs? It's okay. Las dos están bien. Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, guys. In this activity, you're going to give me some examples and you are going to write them here in the discussion forum. Veo que ya la mayoría ya los hicieron. Okay. Si no la he hecho, le queda de tarea. Let's go ahead and move forward, and we're going to be looking at the knowledge check instructions. Complete the conversations with some or any. 
Amanda, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Adam, well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make, ¿cuál es la respuesta? Some. 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 Let's make some. Very good. Uh, okay. Do we have? Any. 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 Mayonnaise? No. We need to buy? Some. 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 Uh, Amanda, we need? Some. Some onions too. Adam, oh, I don't want any. any any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some some, some um. celery. No, I don't want any. any any celery in my potato salad, Adam. But let's put some, some apples some, in it. Some apples in it. Mm. Eso, a mí me gusta esta ensalada con, con manzana. Ya la he probado. Si lo pueden. Apples and potato salad? That sounds awful. Eso suena feo. Pero es bueno. Eh, yo he comido salmón con piña y arroz blanco. Eh, los chinos así lo comen. Let me have two volunteers. Uno que sea Amanda y uno que sea Adam. ¿Quién se quiere ser voluntario? Adam and Amanda. Two volunteers. Okay, Edwin. Edwin va a ser eh, Adam y mm -hmm. Melanie va a ser Amanda. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yes, teacher. Go ahead. Pueden empezar. Eh, Am Amanda, Amanda, empie Amanda es Melanie. Edwin es Adam. Empieza Amanda. Um, what do you... What do you want for the... For the... No, va a empezar aquí. Party? Aquí va a empezar. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Ahí va a empezar. Ah, sí. Ok, ok. Um, Dos, de potato. ¿Cuál es la cuatro ocho? Eh, yes, this one is a four point four knowledge check. Four point four knowledge check. Okay. Uh, Amanda, the store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make Let's some. Make some. Okay. Do we have um, any and... mayonnaise? No. We need to buy some. We need some green onions. Onions. Onions too. too? <laughs> oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. <laughs> then let's get uh, some cel celery. No, I don't want. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. Uh, usted continúa. But... But let's put some apples put, in it. Put, let's put, let's uh -huh. put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad. That sounds awful. Awful, awful, <laughs> awful, awful. Uh -huh. awful. awful. A mí me gusta. Yo he hecho uh, ensalada de atún con manzana and mayonnaise. 
It's not too bad. All right. Thank you. Let me have two more volunteers. Two. Okay, teacher. Yo, teacher. Okay, Esmeralda, Esmeralda. va a ser Amanda. ¿Y quién más dijo yo, teacher? Eh, Austin. Austin. Austin va a ser Adam. Okay. okay. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Will we have a lot of potato? Let's make it some. Oh, do we have any mayonnaise? No, we need to buy some. We need some onion too. Oh, I don't want any onion. I had onions. Eight. I had onions. Eight. Eight onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. 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 Sigue Adam. Nothing. Bottlenet. Bottlenet put some apple in, in it. Apple in a potato salad, the sun apple. That sounds awful. Good. Excellent. <laughs> uh, dígame, Edwin. Yes, teacher. Es la última, la penúltima, creo que es el, mm -hmm. la penúltima línea uh -huh. que dice. Uh, but let's put ese some apples in it. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa ese in it? Oh, in it. O en qué momento lo uso, no sé. Ajá, uh -huh. in it se está refiriendo a el it. Recuérdese que el pronoun es it, right? Tenemos los pronouns. Los pronouns son I, you, you, we, we, they, he, she, it, it, right? So, en este caso, el pronombre it, ¿a qué se está refiriendo? A una cosa, a algo. A algo, algo. que ese algo es la potato salad, right? So, el it está dando referencia a la potato salad. So, cuando dice, but let's put some apples, eh, dice, pongámosles manzanas in it. Sería. Referiéndose manzanas a la ensalada de papa. Ah, y en ese caso, teacher, eh, no sabía que hacía referencia a la ensalada, a la, ajá, el potato salad. Eh, no sé si estoy errado en decir, digamos, but let's put some apples in potato salad. Eso está perfecto. Eh, ¿Debe decirlo es, también? Es, no? es lo mismo, es lo mismo. Ah, ok. Entonces es como tipo abreviarlo, digamos. O That's tipo right. hacer referencia de lo que se está hablando, ya. Yeah. That is correct. But let's... Ok, let's... teacher. Put some apples in the potato salad. Y ahí le pongo el da porque es algo específico. Es específico. Let's put some apples in the potato salad. Correcto. Ese da es, se llama artículo, creo, o no? Article. Article. Sí. Hay tres artículos. Bueno, Son the, a y e, an. Cuando algo es específico. Ok, teacher. Thanks. Ok, thank you. All right, let's check. Good job. Any questions about this activity, guys? Yo, teacher. El, yeah. El, entonces se decía que el any se va a usar. Solamente cuando respondemos negativamente. O Correct. también se puede utilizar some, no. Eh, no, no, no. Cuando es negativo, vamos a usar el any. Cuando es positivo, vamos a usar el some. 
Solo para la pregunta se puede usar el any o el some. Por ejemplo, usted va a decir Do you need some milk? Do you need some milk? O do you need any milk? Some. En el positivo sería I don't need any milk para el negativo y el positivo yes I need some milk así sería thank you teacher okay all right let's go ahead and take a look at the next activity which is coming from this section over here. Vamos a ver lesson objectives. Okay, let's read. By the end of this class, you will learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Al final, de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán sobre alimentos comunes del desayuno en diferentes paisa países. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra algunas diferencias culturales en la comida. Fish for breakfast. Pescado por el desayuno. Una vez fui a una laguna a visitar a familiares y en esa laguna pescan tilapia. Do you know tilapia fish? Uh, yes, tilapia. yes. Oh my God. Comí tilapia frita, tilapia sopa, eh, desayuno tilapia, almuerzo tilapia. Teacher. Tena tilapia. I was like, damn, man. I don't want no more. Yeah. Ah. Es tilapia. Tilapia, tilapia. Yeah, me tuvieron comiendo tilapia casi todo el fin de semana. Cuando llegué a la ciudad, pollo campero, straight up. <laughs> yeah, I remember that experience. Okay, listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cold. Eh, otro ejercicio, guys, que yo les recomendaría que puedan hacer. Eh, yo he hecho este tipo de ejercicio con grupos avanzados. Eh, es, un, es un ejercicio que implique, eh, pongo en práctica con grupos que ya están bien avanzados y quieren trabajar en call centers y cosas así, que es hacer esto. Usted le pone play al video y repite lo que dice. Differences, differences in food. Let's get started by learning Let's what people in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. Japan and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. The U.S. Eggs. Eggs. Bacon. Right. So, ¿qué estoy haciendo ahí? Toast with butter. In different countries. ¿Qué estoy haciendo Hi, everyone. Ahí? Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn, this about, class, you will learn about common breakfast foods. Food. Additionally, Additionally, you'll practice a conversation, practice a which, conversation illustrates a which illustrates a in conversation food. in cultural Let's get started differences. By learning what people... Right. ¿Cómo le va a ayudar ese tipo de ejercicio? Con la pronunciación. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Fluency. Listening, intonation, everything, everything, and right? writing too, and writing as well. So, what you do is you are estás llenando tu campo de información in full English, uh, looking at the video, listening to the English, repeating the English, hasta puede hacer sus huecas. 
o su movimiento, right? Yes. Entre más usted haga la, eh, es como una simulación, así como, eh, no sé si usted ha visto eh, los videojuegos de simulación de eh, navegar un avión, eh, así aprenden los pilotos. No crea que se suben a un avión y, y practican. Ellos aprenden en una simulación y después ellos van ya a practicar en un avión. So, usted lo que está haciendo es simulating, como un, como un espejo. Simulating. You are simulating. Es una simulación. What you are doing. Está simulando que es un teacher. Eso hace que su campo de información absorbs all the English. Absorbs. Absorbs. That's right. Absorbs. That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, let's continue. In the U.S., Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam. Jelly. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs. Beans. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. All right, let's um, listen and practice. Listen and practice. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Let's have breakfast, Let's have breakfast, breakfast, breakfast together, together on Sunday. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. Okay. 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 Come, to come, come, come to my house. My family always has a mm -hmm. Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. My, my family, family always, always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sunday. Okay, uh, aquí quiero llamarles la atención a has. ¿Quién me puede decir por qué es has? Porque son en tercera persona, son ellos. ellos. Hablando del, porque habla de la familia. That's right. Están hablando de una familia. So, una familia, a pesar de que son varias personas, right? You got the dad, you got the mom, you got the children, right? Son varias per personas, pero no es considerado plural. Right? Es considerado una familia. Oh, um, es, un, es una unidad. So por eso se te utiliza el has. Porque se está viendo como una, un grupo, un, como uno. No se ve como separado. Por eso decimos, my family has. Ok. <coughs> Pero okay. qué tal si cambio la palabra my family... Y le pongo we. También. No. ¿Sí? No, ahí ya Nosotros. no fuera we has. Ahí sería have. Allí sería have. we have. have. Porque ahí el sujeto ya es plural. 
we yes, have. Yes, Correcto. Yes, mm -hmm. Correcto. Okay. okay. All right, let's continue. Really? What do you have? Really? What do you have? What do you have? Uh, we usually have fish, rice, we, and soup. We, we, usually, we usually have, usually fish, have fish, fish, rice, and soup. Rice, and rice, and and soup. Fish for breakfast. Fish for, fish breakfast. for, bre for breakfast. breakfast. That's interesting. That's, That's interesting. interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. Sometimes, Sometimes we have, have salad, salad, salad too. too. And we always have green tea. And we and always, we always, always have, have green, green, tea. green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. Well, well I, I, never, I never eat, eat fish, fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. Ok. Vamos a practicar en parejas la conversación. Todos abran su plataforma y vamos a practicar esta conversación. Ready? In pairs. <sighs> Let's go. Es la cuatro seis. Correct. Cuatro seis. Correct. Mm -hmm. Cuatro seis. Ahorita les mando la imagen al WhatsApp para que la tenga en su WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. All right, Melanie, Lorena, Ernesto y Austin pueden practicar en parejas. Um, ok, teacher. Si gusta, nosotros. Vale. ¿Qué inicia? Este, inicio yo. Usted inicia. Vale. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We we usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for bre breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Vaya, no sé si va a practicar con el otro compañero o invertimos los, los, los papeles ahí, como ustedes decían. El otro compañero no sé si gusta, está. No, sé, no sé con quién. Va, este, si quieren, denle ustedes esta y a la siguiente este, vale. conmigo invertimos los papeles. Ok, ok, ok. Entonces, ¿cuál eh, estaba haciendo, David? Inicie, yo estaba haciendo el primero. Ah, inicio. ok, voy a. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. 
Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Vaya, si gusta, se... no sé si quieren invertir primero ustedes los papeles, yo de último o oh, ahorita. No, de ustedes, inviertan ahorita, ah, pero. No, 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 lo que puede hacer es de que ahora Cristian que diga, ah, no, pero. ¿cómo? ¿Cómo ah, ok, me toca entonces la segunda, ¿verdad? Ajá. O ya, ya empezó también. Este, entonces yo, pues, ¿seguirían ustedes o, o practico yo en esta? Ok, entonces démosle con David Ramos, entonces. Va, este sería entonces Kumiko. Ok. okay. Este, ok. Yo empezaría entonces. Sí, sí. Let's have, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Ok. Come to my house. My family always has a, a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, entonces eran ustedes ahora. No, no roles. Bye. ¿Qué inicia? Este, ¿voy yo otra vez? ¿O, o ustedes? Ustedes dos serían, los dos, David. <ríe> Va, este, ¿usted comienza o yo? Dígame ahí. Va, yo, yo empiezo. Bueno. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Ok, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have salad too, and we always have a green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. By the way, entonces pueden seguir ustedes inviertan algún sus personajes. Digo yo. All right, guys, uh, let's take a couple of minutes. I got to take the attendance. Vamos a tomar la asistencia. Cuando llame su nombre, por favor, diga present. All right, let me have the first one is Ana. Yanis. Present. Present. Thank you, Ana. All right, thank you. Let me have Ana Perez. Present. Excellent. Uh, Austin. Present. Excellent. Blanca. Present, teacher. Good job. Brian. Present, teacher. Very good. 
Okay. Christian. Present teacher. Excellent. David Rodriguez. Present. Very good. David Ramos. Present. Excellent. Deborah. Present. Thank you. Delmi. Tell me. Present teacher, present. All right, thank you, tell me. Uh, let me have Edwin. Present teacher. Excellent. Elba. Present teacher. Very good. Eric. Present teacher. Good job. Ernesto. Present teacher. Awesome. Jessica Romero. Present. Very good. Jessica Serrano. Present teacher. Excellent. George. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose. Jose Leiva, present. Thank you, Jose Leiva. Juan. Thanks. Present. Very good. Catherine Funes. Present. Awesome. Catherine Rivera. Present teacher. Fantastic. Let me have Catherine Portillo. Catherine Portillo is absent. Uh, Laura. Present teacher. Thank you, Laura. And Lorena. Present teacher. Thank you, Lorena. All right. Now, what I would like for us to do uh, in this activity, what you are going to do is you are going to Write a similar conversation in the discussion forum. Va a escribir una conversación similar aquí abajo en el discussion forum. Veo que la mayoría ya lo hicieron. Los que no lo han hecho, le queda de tarea. Let's move on to the next section. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán cómo usar los adverbios de frecuencia cuando hablamos sobre comida. Adverbs of frequency. Started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs and they express frequency. For example, if you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. 
if you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverse of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverse of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100%, usually equals 80%, often equals 70%, sometimes equals 50%, hardly ever equals 25%, never equals 0%. Next, I would like to explain how to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverbs of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I, the adverb of frequency is always, the verb is eat, and the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I, the adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast. With the adverb of frequency sometimes, you may put that at the beginning, just like you see on the example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. You may also say, I sometimes eat breakfast. Just like we've learned in this class by putting the adverb of frequency after the subject. And finally, you may say the following, I eat breakfast sometimes. You can put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence. The last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject you. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the, a verb have. Finally, we need to add a complement fish for breakfast. And we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Now is your time to practice by giving lots of examples of your own. I would like for you to think about food, particularly the type of food you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and express how often you eat this type of food. For example, I always drink coffee 
for breakfast. Uh, I never drink coffee for dinner. I hardly ever eat fish for lunch. I never eat fish for breakfast. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. So I want you to notice, guys, in this activity, the verb is going to be in the base form. Let's take a look at the last examples that he gave right here at the bottom. Right, I want you to notice, he says, I always drink, so el verbo va in simple present. I never drink, el verbo simple present. I hardly ever eat, el verbo simple present. So después de cada adverbio de frecuencia, el verbo va in simple present in base form. Uh, for example, you can say, uh, I never go to church. I always go to the gym. I sometimes eat a salad all right so i want you to give me at least five examples in the discussion forum i want you to write at least five examples in the discussion forum over here at the bottom por lo menos cinco ejemplos i would like for you to work with a partner and share your ideas with the same group with the same group. I see. Okay. I always take a shower. Bye. Mm -hmm. Voy a poner el texto que Spot Frequency. Cinco oraciones. Eh, añadir una publicación. Título. No lo voy a poner. Vamos a poner integrantes del grupo. Integrantes del grupo, dos puntos. Eh, ¿Cómo es usted apellido? <ríe> Vaya. Melanie, ¿apellido? Serrano. Con ese. Sí, con ese. ¿Así? Sí. Okay. Ahora vamos a ver. Jorge, ¿verdad? Jorge. Ajá. 
Ajá, apellido. Aguilar. Aguilares. Aguilares. Y voy yo. No, pero está bien. No se escribe así. Aguilar. Aguilar. Ah, perdón, perdón. Perdón, ahorita lo reí. ¿Así? Sí, está bien. Ok, perdón. Bye. Vamos a hacer el número uno. Puntos. Eh, Quiero ver. Right, guys, it's already time to go. It's already time to go, so we will see you guys tomorrow. Please continue working on the platform. Please continue working on the platform. Okay, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night for everyone. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.